up everyone it is your girl jail beauty wait, wait. seven here aka grace and today we're gonna get into another battle of the so i got the pause palette from menagerie cosmetics if y'all know i got the claws in pr because i only ordered the paws and the killer purr that you all actually watched today which is the 16th while i was um you know um while i'm filming this video but um as soon as i saw the paws it made me think of a palette in my collection so i had to grab it and make sure that um i was right and i was so this is what the paws palette looks like and it recently made me think of the wild python from hooded beauty that came out in 2021 this is one of her best collections that came out this is what it looks like but as you can see they look quite similar so as soon as i saw it i knew i had to get my hands on this palette i'm um, sorry about my son deciding he needed to hum randomly i don't know but uh, yeah so there's what they look like side by side so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this palette off camera if i remember correctly i did this palette off camera i thought i had filmed the intro but i can't find the intro anywhere which says to me i didn't and then we're gonna do the newest one on camera because of course you want to see how the new one works i use shades in this one that i didn't use in the first video so let me zoom y'all real quick and cute light so i'm gonna go off camera get my life in order go ahead and put this palette on off camera and then we're gonna swatch you know Huda, then Menagerie, Huda, then Menagerie, and then um, I'll be right back. So, okay, girl, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, y'all, so I didn't put on the eyeliner and the um, mascara like I don't want to do yet. I don't even want to just fold down here. Sorry. But um, this is the eye we got using the Wild Python. So now I'm going to switch it up and give you a, um, what do you call it? Showcase. So this is the wild python so this is huda menagerie huda menagerie huda menagerie huda menagerie so at first i was going to use the darker green in here but i realized it shifts and none of the ones in huda shift from green to purple so we can't use that one so i just went with this one again for the inner corner because i was going to try to do two shimmers only in the inner corner but i'm glad i didn't after i saw the tone in it so let's get to it so i'm going to start off with this shade right here for the crease i'm gonna put this on the outer lead this is our lid shade, and this is our inner corner shade, and then we'll talk about my thoughts on this palette. But actually, you know what? Let me start with the brown. Let's start with the brown. It's quite pigmented because it's picking up on the brush a bit. Quite a bit, you know, when I was tapped into it, so that's a good sign. I feel like the browns look different in tone. Like, I feel like this gives more taupey, like, neutralish brown. I feel like Huda's is more, like, you know, a warm tone brown. So there's just that, and I'm noticing a couple of slight differences. I noticed a couple of slight differences with the stuff I swatched, plus the stuff I put on my eye. And a couple of palettes I like put to the test today. I still got like three more videos to film after I do this one, because my Hypernova palette from what do you call them finally showed up. Who those people? Um, from Sugar Drizzle finally showed up. And now I was only waiting on that and my metamorphosis palettes from um what is it? Um Lisa to show up. So I'm um still waiting on those to show up. I'm hoping they come soon because like I'm trying to I want to film them with my haul video. But at this point it's like I wanna get my giveaway video done too and I giveaway my haul video is gonna have my Christmas giveaway in it. So it's like I can't be out here waiting forever because you know, I don't have time for all of that, honey. Like, like Tim said, child, time is of the essence. So I'm trying to get it, I'm getting it out here and ready so that we could have this stuff go out to you in a timely fashion. It probably end up being after Christmas because it's taking so long for all these things to show up at my house. But you know, it's still going to be obviously a Christmas giveaway because it's the giving time of year. I'm just taking this clean E40 Max um, blending brush or taper blending brush and dusting over everything. Now let's take some glitter glue and cut. Crease real quick and cute like. So. So, there we go with this glitter glue. 
Now we're going to go into the shade Good Boy. And we're going to See, this one looks a bit lighter than this one, but I don't think it has to do with poem changing purple because they put that in the green. Oh, wait, no, it does. Never mind. I thought I'd say it doesn't, but I can see it. just, I feel like it's more prevalent and obvious with the hooded one, but then again, I don't have it all over the lid yet. They might be about the same, which would be great because, you know, you want to have alternative for hood and you want to have all the shades that we're using. That's what's ideal for me as the general rule. I prefer that they have all the shades that I'm showing you all looking about the same. As you can see, this one looks a little bit lighter, but I still feel like when I turn my head, you can see the purple shift into it. At least I hope you can. Take a little bit more of the deeper shade on the back of the eye. Let's dust that around a little bit. Take out E40. Again. And this in here. Now we're going to go into the green and the corner shade. And then we'll talk about my thoughts and which palette I prefer and why and all those good things there. So. I'm definitely like this inner corner a little bit more. It's giving more neon metallic brightness than the one in the hood of palace. So I didn't say that. Okay. Let's close on up. Let's back it on up. And because you look too close, personal space, girl, personal space. The tutorial was over. No. Um, but so, when it comes to these palettes, I like each one for a different reason as usual. So, I'll start off with what I don't like about both of them. They both have this dark brown for the outer V instead of giving you a colorful matte for the outer V. Like, I, that's one of the things I always hate about Huda's palettes. Like she always want to give you this neutral matte to go with all these colorful mattes and colorful shimmers. It's like, girl, where's the colorful dark matte to go with these colorful, you know, like shimmers? I, I need it. Where is it? Is it far? Do you have to go to Italy and pick it up yourself and that's why it's not in this palette? Like, where is it, girl? Because it, it's not here with me. So unfortunately, that's the thing I don't like about both these palettes. They both have that dark brown. You saw I didn't have any other color to choose from when it came to the palettes. You have to use the dark brown. I will say though, I do like the shimmers in the Menagerie one better just because I like the fact that both of them shift. Like this one is a deep purple and blue, whereas this one is more of like a lilac light-ish purple, pink, and um, green vibe to it. And I love how metallic and foil that this green shade is. So I actually think I like this um, palette a little bit better than the hood one when it comes to the color story. And when it comes to the formula, I feel like they're actually about even. They both blended out nice and smooth. I feel like the hood one blended out a little bit better. So it just depends on what your preference is when it comes to the palettes. If you want something that's easily accessible, that you don't have to um, wait a long time to ship to you, then I would say get the hood one obviously because you can just run to your Sephora store and grab and this one actually isn't that expensive these are the $29 ones the big one is the one that's going to cost you a lot of money whereas this one is going to be a little bit more expensive you're going to have to wait a while for it to ship and Menagerie sells out pretty quick so it depends on what route you want to go which one I say you should choose but for convenience I would say pick Sephora if you don't mind waiting then I would definitely say pick up the Menagerie one because I actually like it a little more than the hood one for the affirmation reasons but those are my thoughts on both of these palettes when it comes to the battle so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye